handle much more of this. Uh-huh, I know. See if we can get through a morning with no argument. Considering all this? Ah, long dead. Good time, huh? I'm still not sure what to make of it all. You and me both? Yes, yes, all right. Hey, Tilly. Hope we have a better day. Let's hope for a better day. I'm coping with all this. I'm alive. Oh, well, that's good, I suppose. Mary Beth. Every morning, I wish I wasn't in this place. Got tired of making money, did you, Black Lung? Go to hell. Well, I guess it's true what they say. You can't take it with you. But Herr Strauss, I thought you liked helping the weak and unfortunate. You're unfortunate. I don't like helping you. <laughs> Very amusing. Just try to stop making more trouble for us. Some of us are trying to save folk, not make unnecessary... <laughs> Dramas. Sit, Arthur, sit. Good to see you. Reverend? I don't know how we make it past this. all disruptive like this. Now this is Duchess game. You're gonna freeze in those clothes. Duchess! And we follow him. Sure. Of course it is. But... But what? But open your goddamn eyes, you fool. Open your eyes. We'll die if we stay here. You're the fool! A disloyal fool. Hey. Ain't no one being disloyal here, boy. Morning, Arthur. Don't worry about him, Abigail. Talking to me about loyalty. Bill don't want to see the truth, that's all. You okay? What's with him? Uh, everyone's on edge right now. Good morning. Hey there. Thanks for sticking with us. Of course. that all about? And you're the worst of the lot! Goddamn turncoat! You don't know what you're talking about.
Come on now, boy. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. If you don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that Laura? Gave you. Get her out. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. Now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on now, tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. <sighs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, hey, Amos! God damn! He's bigger than I remember. Stay there! I'm throwing out to you. Real quick! The bastard just bumped me! <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Anything? Uh, just my rod. Uh, we got my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Now reel a might quicker. Oh! 
Oh! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Bring it in now. Don't let it pull you. Son of a bitch. This might be the one casting. Sorry for. You caught him. Let's roll back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. <sighs> Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <sighs> he was. <clears throat> 
Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. Time to go, boy. Yeah. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out, wait to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. 
My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are.
Would you be able to help me out again? I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, sure. Uh, you see this purple flower here? This is sage. But I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure of its effects. 
I found this one with his friends in the woods. I'd check wooded areas for more. Let's try this. Hmm. Oh, yes. I feel ready to take on the world. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. A man could go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. Prepare this for long journeys, and hold on tight. Your horse will never want to stop running. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Hey, boy. Yeah. Easy now. Yep. Better than you hoped, I bet. So many goddamn wolves, I'm surprised there's any left. And that was God's work. Killing all him creatures like that. All but right, tell you, guess we're all done here. Replaced it is warped. Thanks. You lot. Evening. Your nice back. evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, mister. Hello, mister. Good evening, mister. Hello, Hello, ma'am. How's it going, tough guy? You okay? No, not really. <coughs> oh, that's too bad, buddy. They told me I was dying. Only I never did. You ever die, friend? Well, no. Of course not. Of course you didn't. But, well, we're all gonna die. I guess so. I'm sorry I always say dumb things. I'm a dumb fella. You're smart, and you're dying, and I'm dumb, and I ain't died yet, and, well, here's the thing. I never was in the army, friend. I told folk I was, but I lied. I don't know why I did, and now I feel better, but, well, Here's another thing. You, well, you've always been, or you've mostly been nice to me. At least you spoke to me. And now you're dying. And I'm real sad. Real sad. 
Sure ain't fair. Ain't fair at all. I'll miss you, friend. You're a good man. What? Oh. You have a goodie. I need your help. Again. I've got another problem. Well, same problem. Oh, the goddamn men in this town. You have to help me, please. Not too bad. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Quick, this way. I can't believe this happened to me again. These bastards think they can rough up a girl, but I ain't having it. Please help me. Oh, Lord, if they find me with another body. I gotta get this room cleaned up. Just get rid of the body for me, please. Getting hard to believe this was just self-defense. Well, it was. Now, you gonna help or not? Oh, it's too late for me to back out, I suppose. I'll deal with them. I'll pay you. You know I'm good for it. I can't believe this is happening again. Just dump them in there with the pigs again. No one found that last feller. God, have the worst luck. Did you do it? Please tell me you did it. I'm here without a body. Thank you. Thank you. I promise I won't do it again. Maybe you don't belong in this line of work. Seems you bring something out in the man. If only, mister. But this is all I know. You know, you might be the only good man in this whole town. The rest of them, animals. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. You can... Uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. 
What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? Gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay. But do it. For me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath and plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, sure. let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean... We're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. <clears throat> All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> got it. Okay, you should be good there. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. <clears throat> okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Come on! Nice and easy! Got it! Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff! Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will.
right there! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! Let's ride on this! Come on! Problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks and for what, exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. And I ain't being taken for a fool no more. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Ugh. <laughs> 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 